Usually you don't see many Volvos on our channel. A couple of years ago, I drove the super interesting Volvo S60 Polestar. But what I have today is probably something that many of you have never even heard of. This over here is a 2008 Volvo S80 V8. And this engine that it has, has been built by Yamaha. Today we are here at Warp Division, Hyderabad's latest and only dyno workshop. And as you can see, they have Volvos literally all around the workshop because this is technically like a Volvo specialist workshop. So it's unsurprising that that 2008 Volvo S80 has ended up over here. Talking about the S80, that is technically the big, most premium, luxurious sedan that Volvo has ever made. The Volvo S80 took the place of the 900 series of cars that Volvo used to sell. Known for their safety, the S80 received the highest good rating in the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety in 2007. Although it being launched in 1998, the S80 received its first V8 engine in its second generation in 2006. What is the hype about this engine? Let's find out. This here is a 4.4 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine developed by Yamaha and this is one of the very few cars in history to have a transversely mounted V8 engine as opposed to longitudinally and this also is the only production car to have a 60 degree bank angle V8 ever fitted to a production car. Now this engine started out life as a motorboat engine from Yamaha and it was bored out to 5.7 liters. All right, so a small correction here. Yamaha did not use a V8 from a boat in the S80. The engine was designed by Volvo itself, but it was put into production by Yamaha as a collaboration. Why Yamaha, you may ask? Well, Volvo needed an engine with a 60-degree bank angle that they could mount transversely. Yamaha at the time had already built a 60-degree bank angle for Ford, so I don't think I need to elaborate more as to why Yamaha. Now you might say it's the same engine as it is in the Ford Taurus, but all three companies denied this fact. This V8 was first put in the XC90 in 2005 and then in the second generation S80 that you can see here. But the V8 lived in the Volvo only till 2010, but Yamaha had other plans with the engine. They turned the engine longitudinally, made it belt driven, bored it out to 5.3 litres, making anywhere between 300 to 350 horsepower and put it in a boat. Yes, a boat. The same was then bored out to a hilarious 5.6 litres making 425 horsepower in a boat with only 453 kilos. Back to Hyderabad Soham. And if you're a fan of Top Gear and if you know about this British supercar company called Noble, the M600 also used this exact engine but instead of being naturally aspirated, it had two turbochargers slapped onto it and it made a ridiculous 650 horsepower. Like I said, this is one of the very few cars in history to have a transversely mounted V8. It shares that space with cars like the Cadillac Alante, its SUV brother, the Volvo XC90, Buick Lacrosse Super, Lincoln Continental, just to name a few. Now, coming to the engine itself, this is the B8 444S engine, and surprisingly, it's a very reliable engine. Or is it unsurprising because at the end of the day, this has been developed and made by Japan's finest. Now usually we would take the car out for a spin and drive it to show you guys how it actually feels. But since we are here at Warp Division and they so conveniently have a dyno that is all-wheel drive capable, we decided to put the car onto the dyno to see how much power does the car actually make.
as you just saw, this car sounds absolutely amazing. Now, coming to what sort of power it made on the dyno, it made roughly around 255 horsepower at the crank today. Uh, but the thing is, this car has made much more power. It's done roughly around 280, 290-ish horsepower. I'm going to put up the uh, graph from Warp Division on the screen right now. So if you want to check out the graph and, you know, the best sort of power this car has made, pause the video right now. So yeah, this thing is super, super cool. I mean, pair it with the Japanese reliability that it has from the engine and Volvo's amazing safety technology that it has. This is one of the best cars that you could have bought back in 2008. And even today, uh, and the thing is, this has a lot of retrofits also available. You can retrofit a bunch of stuff like ADAS, Lane Keep Assist, and a lot of other safety features from 2016, 2017 Volvos into this car. You can uh, fit newer steering wheels and all of that stuff. And Warp Division is basically the place that you can get all of this stuff done because, like I said, these guys are Volvo specialists. So they literally know their Volvos in and out. Talking about the car itself, one of 40 apparently in India, so definitely a really, really special car to see and something that you really don't see on the road every day, especially a V8 one. Talking about the looks briefly, yeah, this car is finished in black, looks super sleeper, super like transporter movie vibes. Uh, and yeah, I think it's just a fantastic looking car. And if you didn't know, this car and the S60 that is there from this same generation, they have gotten some sauce from Pininfarina because back in the day, Volvo used to have a stake in that Italian design firm. So that's why these cars look so pretty, so timeless and just so elegant. So that's it for this video. If you're interested in buying this particular Volvo S80 V8, it is available on TDH Classifieds right now. So definitely check it out if you're interested in purchasing this particular car and comment down below what you think of this lovely S80 V8 and I'll catch you in the next one.